r slash ask reddit what's something that people think makes them look cool but actually has the opposite effect when people play their music loud at the gas pumps i recently saw a woman leave her toddler in the car with the crappy music blasting to the point that it was uncomfortable and unpleasant for everyone else pumping gas while she went into the store felt bad for that child having a phone conversation on a loudspeaker in public or blasting shitty music from a cheap oversaturated BT speaker on public transport. We get it. Negative attention is also attention. But taking over a public space with your edginess is just being an a-hole. My parents have recently discovered speakerphone and refuse to believe there is such a thing as speakerphone etiquette. I'll be talking to them and all of a sudden I'll hear. So do we know what we want to order? And I realize they've been holding this entire conversation on speakerphone in a restaurant surrounded by people trying to enjoy their dinner. Oh. And I have thought that my parents are the only one. The absolutely worst case they had done it was when there were a family's friend staying at their place. Parents called me and haven't mentioned anything about being on speaker. They told me about having a last night full of drinking and some stuff. So I asked whether it was okay because one of their guests is quite aggressive and unpleasant when she drinks. And yeah, she was sitting next to them. They went like, but hun, she is sitting next to us. You are being rude. Am I being rude? You are the ones that brings personal talks to the table. I still felt ashamed of even though what I said was true. I would have to just explain to them that I'm no longer comfortable having phone conversations with them. That or get incredibly creative with cuss words and use them frequently and loudly. Kids bragging about their parents wealth and success. One upping and putting other people down to make yourself look good. Rife in white collar jobs. I despise people who do it. You hate it when people do it to look good. They should just act normal and put people down to feel good. God that's my oldest brother. I love him to death but that guy won't let you get happy about anything you have. Most recent thing that he did. My husband and I took our kids to Croatia to visit family. We stayed for 2 months. My husband and kids have gone more often. But the last time I took a real vacation and went there was in 2009. Of course I was ecstatic and started sending pictures to the family chat since we landed in Madrid for a layover. Everybody was happy and commenting on the pictures. Everybody but my brother. His comments were only about when he and his wife went or posting his own pictures, which we all saw, we all talked about, and that it happened like 5 years ago. I hate people like that man. Please stop blasting your music in places where people cannot escape it. I see your earbuds in your pocket. Please. Salvation. Or having a phone call with your speaker on so everyone has to hear your conversation. Shitting on things other people like. We all have stuff we don't like. But if you spend all your time putting down everything a person is interested in. You don't look cool or edgy. You look like a dong with no interests. Even the most popular things aren't enjoyed by a majority of people. Most people don't enjoy Marvel movies or Taylor Swift or a specific sport or a specific religion. If you don't like these things you are not unique. Just the people not interested in these things don't talk about them because they don't care about them. Telling the world how much you dislike something just makes you a boring person that wants to talk about things you don't find interesting. Talk to people about the things you like, not dislike. It's deeply weird to me when adults, who don't have kids, babas it, work with kids, go so far out of their way to shit on pop culture geared toward people age 0-14. Not like this is very violent or sexualized for a child complaints but like this music is trash. This movie sucks. This actor isn't actually a good actor complaints. If you're seriously upset by the new middle school dance hit from. Whoever is today's version of circa 2010 Justin Bieber, you need to stop voluntarily listening to the damn Spotify kids bop station and monitor your blood pressure. I'm not sure if this is just an Australian thing, but people who rev their cars motorbikes really loud, and it's usually quite late at night while most people are trying to sleep. Guess it's a thing worldwide. Yeah shawlism isn't country specific. Good old Craig and his souped up Honda Civic racing down the road at 3am. Here I thought it was Yoda going for his ketamine fix. Really nice parkers. People think they look cool, but they actually keep them warm. This made me actually chuckle. Never admitting when you're wrong. It may seem like a confidence power play, 
However, most people just don't care enough about you to say anything or indicate that they noticed. They'll just slowly drift away from you till one day you're all alone wondering why no one with any level of competence wants to hang out work with you. Hating all genres of music except the one they like. I learned this the hard way by only liking heavy metal and shitting on all other music without giving a chance as a teen. Metal's still my favorite but all genres have good music. Honestly I've seen far more elitism in the metal community than any other music genre I've been involved in. It's a shame because metalheads are usually some of the most chilled, open-minded people you could find, until you start talking about music. I have been guilty of this in the past. As have I. It took a while to branch out, but I'm all is now. I still see some people who are extremely elitist with metal and I'm so glad I got out of that phase as a teen. As an adult, you just look like the biggest tool lol. Being into zodiac signs and using them as an excuse for any of their unlikable behavior. Uh, did you see how I snapped on that waiter? I'm sorry, but Mercury is in retrograde and this cancer doesn't have time for his shit. Oh that's cancerous alright. I don't put much stock in horoscopes, because I'm a Scorpio and were naturally skeptical. Weed. It's fun and all but it's not a goddamn personality. That attitude itself literally kept me off drugs as a kid lol. As all my friends started smoking pot it became the only thing they ever talked about and being a pothead consumed their identity. I found it lame and off putting so I never got into it beyond trying it. I have nothing against weed. Enjoy it all you want. But seriously. It's not a personality. Same goes for some craft beer fans who literally never have anything to talk about except beer. And I say this as someone who works in the industry and loves craft beer. I unironically like wearing fingerless gloves. For actual tasks. Not just out and about. When people ask me why I wear them I tell them it's because I'm so cool. I'm not exactly certain how uncool they make me. But I know it's a lot. I like the fingerless gloves with finger flaps. Straight up fingerless means my fingertips die little. But I still want to be able to do finger activities inside without taking my gloves off. Finger activities. A lot of redditors seem to think that stolen witty one liners make them look like the patron gods of debate and reason. The next time I see someone say I came for a battle of wits but it seems you came unarmed unironically I will set their house on fire and then myself. Weird flex but okay. That's the one I hate. More often than not I see it used as a reply where it makes no sense at all. I've been into the import tuna scene for close to 20 years at this point. Now this was more a style of the time say 15 years ago. Backwards upside down visor hats. WTF. Why was that a thing? It'd make more sense to walk around with an onion tied to your belt. They think so fast their brain needs a spoiler. Go to spoil that lamina flow somehow. Elitism. It's duck and stupid to attack someone who enjoys a hobby only just because doesn't put his life on it. Oh you hate elitism? Name three elitists. Only three? What are you? A poser? When babies get excited about walking. Real f king cool baby. I can walk too. Yep, smug little bastards. Not only that, but you can walk better than that shitty baby. Probably run too. Grown women who use baby talk to other adults in normal conversation. No, you are not cute or cool or whatever the hell you think you are. Weirdo. You would hate Korea. We don't like it too, unless they are very cute. And even then, we like them for how cute they look, not the way they talk. Being a-holes without a reason. Bragging about not reading. Bro, people do that. How much they can drink before passing out. Whoa, man, or a woman, ducking applause to you. Great achievement. I'm glad that I get drunk fast because it saves me money. People who come out with life lessons and quotes. They think they are so profound and deep but I think they come off as big headed and stupid. My ex puts his own quotes in his Facebook profile picture every month. Including the date he said it. It's one of the cringiest things I've seen. He's doing a PhD in philosophy. I study philosophy and it's where I've met some of the most arrogant men in my life. One once lent me a book with poems by T. S. Eliot and it was full of his handwritten notes correcting some of Eliot's poems with better suited words. I couldn't believe my eyes. 
He'll forget about that book someday and it will sit for years. One day he'll be cleaning his attic or something years down the line and find that book. He'll open it up and see his edits of TS. Elliot and remember doing it to impress you and will cringe at himself so hard. The cringe will be devastating. This dude might not sleep for days cringing about this. It's never your successful friends posting inspirational quotes on Facebook. Judging random people and making fun of the less fortune. No you're not cool. You're a douche. For me it's wearing ridiculously expensive shoes clothing. Especially when I know you really can't afford it. I like quality apparel as much as the next person. But there's a point where $350 sneakers are just ridiculous. I had a friend that thought I was crazy for buying a $1500 TV. I told her last year you spent $800 on a necklace that I have seen you wear twice. I use my TV every day. If it's something you use daily or really enjoy using, go ahead and spend big. I don't even care about her necklace. If she has the money and that's what she likes, more power to her. Just don't do that and then judge me for my spending. Posting photos of cash on social media. I always think it is funny how doing that is commonly accepted whereas if you screenshot at your bank account or net worth you'd be an a-hole. When people post their weed on snapchat. Group of teens trying to sound like a badass while talking. Like hey bro look how cool I am. I did this and this and not realizing that it's embarrassing. Being the girl with male best friends who is not like other girls. I don't like female drama. Like, okay, Bethany, we get it, you view women as competition, just say so and move on. I'm on a bus full of idiots and most of the conversations I hear anymore is how people will try to get into a relationship just for sex, the target usually being called horrible things, like beach. I also hear things such as people bragging about how bad they are, and how many felonies they have and how much of a total ducking dunt they are. One thing I don't get is people bragging about how manipulative they are. Like, okay, good job now I trust you even less. This makes me sad. Yesterday while waiting for the bus I overhead a group of 4-5 kids hanging out. Looked like maybe they all knew this one kid and not each other. They were all being awkward and not talking. Just looking at their phones. Then this other kid looked up and kinda shyly asked. Wanna see an awesome trampoline trick I did? And shows this video on his phone. They all start freaking out. Asking him questions. Comparing trampoline strategies. And it was just so wholesome to see some teenagers jeeking out over a trampoline. Smoking. Beside edgy teenagers I have never encountered a smoker who think they look cool smoking. Or oh well. I met a guy who thought he was James Dean. I'm pretty sure he thought he was the coolest shit ever with a pack rolled up in his sleeve. Vaping as well. Whenever I see a big ass cloud coming out of someone's car at a light I can't help but think douche. And then I hit my vape. Bragging about how little sleep they're getting. How many all nighters they've pulled. How busy they are. Etc. Mostly in a school setting. You need to manage your time better. You need to take care of yourself. Everyone has different sleep needs in terms of timing and length. On mobile. Sorry if formatting sucks. Ducking fedoras. My dad is an attorney in his early 60s and probably one of the last guys in Chicago who wears a fedora with his suit like he's a character in the road to perdition. He looks ducking awesome. Every time I see him in the hat I get a little disappointed because I know I'd just look like a doucher if I did the same thing. Someone who's smoked weed once who then goes on to brag about it. Honestly, bragging about smoking weed itself. I've met several people who casually interject how high they are into a random conversation and seemingly try to bring up the fact they smoke weed at any given moment. Bragging about getting high is about as cool as bragging about getting drunk. I mean, I don't particularly care if people smoke it, nor if it's legalized. At least then a lot of these people might stop thinking they're edgy by talking about it constantly to their unfortunate interlocutors. Confederate flags. Calvin pissing on something. Punish a skull. Tap out bumper stickers. Telling people to kill themselves. You just look like an ass. Open carrying a rifle around the neighborhood or store just because they can. As a gun owner, please stop. 
Whoa. You made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price.